How do you feel? How do you feel, Stephen? A bit anxious because of the things that have we've experienced already tonight. Maybe tonight is the night where we're going to get the Holy Grail. Welcome to Tatton Old Hall. It's an absolutely amazing building. As you can see, it's deceptive from the outside. Um, love it here. It's really, 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 really good in all fairness. It's a great place to be. So, the first building we come to, this is the Crooked Barn. Um, this dates back to the early 1500s, 1600s. If you want to come inside, you'll see why. It's to do with the configuration of how the actual beams have been put together. And that's where the, the Crooked name comes from. Really interesting place to be. I love being in here. Um, apart from it's very, very old, it's just got that atmosphere attached to it. It's got the bats going as well. It's got some bats going in. When it gets a bit later on, you'll have the owls coming in. So we've got an, an owl window up there. So the idea was that this one would have had uh, grain, etc., in here. So at night, they leave that little square open window as an owl window. So the owls can come in and, and obviously get rid of all the rodents that are trying to eat all the grain, etc. So this wasn't original to Tatton. So this was actually moved from Frodsham in 1976. So it's been here a while, so it's now established itself here, but it dates back to the 1500s. So there's so much history with this, it's absolutely crazy. Now I've done quite a few investigations in here, we guess, and yeah, it's really interesting. You'd be surprised at night when it gets dark, even though there's lots of little holes around the room, it's pitch black, it's really, really quiet. And we've seen shadows and figures walking around us. We've had stones thrown in here. Um, people have done um, experiments in here and been told that people were actually hung from one of the beams at the top. Now there's no history or documentation to tell you anything like that, however, who knows, you know, it's come from a different place, we could have done. And we've also had at this end here, which is quite strange if you, if you take look at the floor, so the floor at this end is all made up of like bricks, etc. And I don't know why that's made up like that, that's the honest answer, but we've had People talk about witches and things like that. So it's quite a different split in the whole of the building, but it's a really, really interesting place. I love it and it's got a great feel to it. So walking across now, so this is the main building. So originally this would have actually been um, a barn. That's how it was originally built. It was actually a barn. So when we go into the great hall, without giving too much away yet, you'll see where it had different levels in there. So this was originally built in 1583 for Sir Thomas Edgerson. And the Edgerson family lived here all the way through their life. This was obviously where they were, this is where they lived. Um, and they would have actually obviously ploughed the fields here. Just a point of interest while we're on, just at the back of us just here, you'll see a load of humps just over the wall. Now that's the remains of Tatton, Tatton Town. It's a very, very old established town and it's actually in the Doomsday Book. So that originally out there in the fields, that's where the Tatton Town would have been. And that's where the name Tatton comes from, which is where we are now. This is the main building for the house. So as you can see, it's got completely different types of building materials in it. So to our left here, that's the original building. So that's where the, the old barn would have originally been. That's where it was. And as you can see, they've got some very interesting um, repair work to the side because they just didn't bother in those days. They just literally wanted to actually firm it back up again. You can see on the right hand side, the bricks are completely different. It's still very, very old, but you can clearly see that this, this part was built in the 1800s. So I think it was 1840 that part was built as an add-on to the actual whole house because you'll see when we go in the Great Hall for the amount of family that were here there wasn't enough space so they actually built this add-on place to actually use as a, a bigger part of the hall. Now when we get inside, I don't want to give too much away, you'll understand how it's now developed as the years have passed through. So this is the main hall, this is what they call the Great Hall. So this is where they would have lived originally, it was, it was the first obviously house. So if you actually look at the walls, you'll see the little holes and indentations. It was actually three storeys. The bedrooms would have been upstairs and obviously they would have had the, the living quarters downstairs. But if you just take a note of how high the actual divots in the walls are, it would have been only about that high. It would have been a very cramped experience here. I know some of the Edgerton family had um, children in here, they gave birth in here, so I, I can imagine it would have been a bit, bit crazy in all fairness. However, they didn't know until about 100 years ago about this building and how important it was. If you look up, up at the top, that is the original loft area and ceiling and rafters. It's about three or 400 years old. 
we've done quite a few investigations here. Um, we've done some Ouija board in here and we've been blown away, I think it's the right answer, with some of the information that's come through from the guests that don't know anything about it. Because as you guys know, when we walk around, we don't tell too much about it. And they've had people's names come through that are to do with the house. They've had the correct dates to come through. And we've had some other interesting information where we had some guests have a lady come through who accidentally killed, murdered, I don't whatever you want to put it, her niece by giving her some herbs, trying to make her better. And she was classed as a witch. And she was actually hung for being a witch by her brother for killing her nephew, which would have been her brother's son. And she stays here because her brother's ghost and spirit is here as well. And he's really horrible. He's really obviously distraught. He's not nice at all. So she stays here to keep guests safe, apparently. And she's been here a few hundred years. So whether that's true or not, I don't know, but that's some of the information we've had come through. And also guests have seen shadows walking along the top up here when they've been doing Ouija boards, etc. as if somebody's just walking around the edge and staring at you, just keeping an eye on you. So. so now we're upstairs. So this would have been in the living area as part of the extension to the actual house. So if we come into this first room here, um, obviously there's lots of things in here. It's, they have children come from school, so there's quite a few what we call props. You can see the original wattle and door, which the, the walls originally were made out of. But this room in particular is very, very interesting. So we've had some really uneasy things happening here. We've had people pushed. We've had people being uh, knocked over. People responded saying that they felt really uneasy in here. Now, allegedly, there's some sort of portal or doorway in this room. And it's also been reported by other companies that's come here uh, that have said that this room is very oppressive and that there's a portal or something in here. Now, whether there is or not, I can't tell you if there is, but it's a very uneasy room when you're sat in here in the dark. Any activity in these rooms? So these two rooms here are very playful. So we've had lots of trigger objects, etc., go off in here as if we have children maybe with us. And we have had footsteps go up and down this corridor. So I think this is more of a, a children's sort of dimension of, of the actual building itself where pe children will come and play with you. Yeah. I think it'll be interesting tonight because we're gonna try doing some watching way up here. So let's see what happens. And then this would have been the, the master bedroom, Mr. Edgerton's bedroom. Again, it's a mock-up of his bed. A point of interest though, for us um, sad people, shall we say. So the fireplace, those bricks were donated to him as a gift and they're very important because that's the first fireplace that was built in the area and it was very privileged to have this fireplace. Now again, this area is quite active, so we've had quite a few people report seeing people in here, peeking around the edge of the bed just there. Now there is a door in the corner, but it's literally just a storeroom, it's tiny and there's no way in and out apart from that door. So we've had people peeking around on the door. We've had people who sat on the bed and then using the spirit talker and the Alice box has been told to get off, move away from the bed, don't sit on my bed. And also heard footsteps coming up the stairs here with a lady a lady that was very distraught that apparently died during the play and she was trying to help us to get out. She kept telling us to get out but didn't mean it in a horrible way. She just meant you need to get out because of the plague's coming. So lots of different history levels. It's, it's just an amazing, amazing building. So down here, these would have been the workers' cottages. So they would have actually worked the whole of this land and they would have lived in this area and again, it's mocked up for the children how it would have looked. So that would have been the scullery, etc., where they would have done washing the clothes and all that sort of stuff. All the layout of the building has never been changed. So as you can see, it looks just how it would have then. This would have maybe been the parlor, all the stone floors, original fireplaces, coming through into the bedrooms. So as we walk through, you'll see that it does change. So they've got an exhibition in at the minute, which is called Through the Ages. We've had a not nice spirit in here. There's supposed to be a male in this area that stands in the corner over there and just tries to get you out of this room in any way they can. We've had people pushed, we've had things thrown, we've had bangs, crashes, footsteps, movements, all in this little area. Now I can't tell you why, because I don't know why, apart from on one night we did some glass divination next door and allegedly this is the brother who's very, very angry for having his daughter killed by um, the, the lady. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. Hopefully so. Very oppressive room when the lights go out. But all the way along the corridor, we've had lots of different activities. We've had lots of noises, very audible down here. Noises, footsteps, bangs, things moving, things being thrown, tablecloths moving, cups rattling. So I wouldn't say poltergeist, because that's not what it is. It's just more of a, a movement and an audible sort of thing. And that is the amazing Tatton Old Hall. 
It's a fantastic building and we absolutely love it. And hopefully I'll have a great night. So we're heading into Tatton Old Hall right now. This is mine and Griff's first ever adventure inside this notoriously haunted location. Uh, we're here with Haunted Happenings. You know, we just walked around with Phil. He gave us a bit of a history on the location. Some amazing history. And it's got that proper atmospheric look to it, don't you, Jess? Yeah, it does. There's the building itself so old. We're looking at 1700s and that's when the lightest part was uh, created. So 1500s, some of these buildings are from and, and literally what you're about to see is that it's really good. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So what we're going to do, what the plan is, we're going to split up. Griff is going to investigate either upstairs or downstairs and I'll be on the other floor. And we're going to do some lounge visuals and we'll meet up a bit later on and go into the barn. But it's got that um, Chillingham kind of feel to it, doesn't it? It really does. I'm just shutting the door because... Right. We had a door move then. <laughs> it's obviously, it's, it's the, the, uh, the vortex of the that door that closing. So, yeah, I'm just shutting the door. So do you want to start downstairs, Jason? I'll go upstairs. Yeah, I think we'll have to whisper though. Yeah, we'll talk quietly. Actually, no, these mics shouldn't pick each other up, should they? No, the mics will be fine, but you don't want to contaminate. Do you want to take a K2? Yeah. All right, then, I'll leave that on there for you. And we'll head upstairs. Watch out for bats as well, stay, because oh, no. if they fall, then it's very sad. That it's a dead, dead bat, sorry, just realised. I was thinking that it was a leaf, I nearly touched it. <sighs> it's not, it's alive, right? We're not allowed to touch it, guys, I've got to get the lid. So if you can lay this, she has a special thing that she has to come and collect the bat with. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm well, sorry, Lou. What's happened to her? Why well, has he gone? Hunting it's, face I can just see that it's looking yeah, to yeah, move it's, it's ears. So moving. because the con it's conservation, etc., we're not allowed to yeah, move. So he's asleep. Then he's an in his fell. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Imagine. Imagine if you was here, you know, calling out, and then that whacked off your well, shoulder. Let me tell you a little story that happened to me a couple of weeks ago when I was here. <laughs> You'll see upstairs in one of the rooms in the pitch black doing watch and wait with all the guests and I'm stood up, they're all sat down and I'm calling out and a bat came up the stairs and came flying past the front of my face, literally there. Yeah. Needless to say, I absolutely bright myself to death. Yeah, fairness, well, so. we've been in that position many times, <laughs> haven't we, Jace? All right, guys, just me on my own. Stay here, he's gone, he's moved, he's upstairs. What's that walking on the... F what was that? See, if you had just walked on. Oh no, it's that easy. But yeah, Griff's gonna be down in the front room, which- Front room? It's a nice front room they got. It is quite nice. It's nice and uh, atmospheric. The fireplace is in the center of the room, so. So I'm gonna start calling out Spirit. I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Stephen. This is my first time ever visiting this location and I've heard a lot about it. Is it possible that you'd be able to show yourself to me tonight and for all the guests who are here with Haunted Happenings? Is it possible if you could walk down this corridor right now for me? There is an aeroplane coming by. I couldn't even get any drone shots here tonight, guys, because of the, the flight path, and you just will not go up, so apologies for not getting any cinematics, but I did try. I've just basically put ghost tube up on, because, you know, that's just the way it is here. <laughs> just add a bit of excitement, because we don't get anything else, do we, guys? We ain't no good. No good as investigators. Don't spend, what, thousands of pounds to get to locations to try and find paranormal stuff, you know? I don't know, what, we're just doing it wrong. Anyway, let's try and do it wrong tonight and get something to happen. Tatton Hall, Edgerton, Thomas, William, John, it's been switched around. The stories that you heard from Phil earlier about a man and a woman, the woman tried to save the child by giving him herbs, killed the child, nephew, I was said, I was told, and the man's angry and literally 
does not want anything to do with this lady. Now, I'd like to find the lights so I can knock them off just for a minute, just to see if we can get something to come into the dark. And we'll just, we'll just roll with it. We'll just try and get something to uh, happen in this great hall that it's called now. The one thing I'm amazed by. You hear that? You probably. The one thing I'm amazed by. You hear that? The one thing I'm amazed by. You hear that? And I'm making you look at me. It was over there, guys. In that corner. If that was you tapping, could you make that noise again? If there is somebody here that wishes to talk to me at all, could you make a noise, please? What the fuck? And that was loud. It was really loud. Could you make a noise, please? What the fuck? Could you make a noise, please? What the fuck? Now, we've been told that this place is the real deal. And we've been told that stuff has happened here. So as soon as I got a noise, after asking, I don't like to be cheeky, can you make that noise again? And it says here, please do not touch any of the objects on display. So I won't. But would that be possible if you could move an object for me? You could throw it at me. You could drag it along the side if you'd like. We don't mind. I did hear something then. It sounded like a little bit of a dragon, but I didn't see anything move. It was like a, it's like something very light. It is an old building though. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just demonstrating the sound that that device creates. And if any of the children that roam this section of the building, we've heard them quite playful. Oh, that breeze is lovely. You are? Are you not going in the front room? I'm just in here for a little bit. The reason I've been in here so long is because I've had... Oh, Chase. What? Hold on. Someone's got to have come into the building. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's, that's who was causing the noise. <laughs> Within paranormal. I thought we'd uh, got some kind of paranormal activity then. It was just a lady. What, what had happened, Jace? Well, basically, I was asking for someone to talk and I've, uh, I had a massive loud bang in that corner and then I had a massive loud bang up there. It would have been the original third floor. So I had one in that corner and it was like a doof, like a and then this one was like a okay noise and it was loud. Uh, the only thing I might explain it could have been the lamp. And in that corner, there's a few items there and I wouldn't be able to tell you. All right then. So it's weird, but I'll just call out a little bit in here and then I'll move into the living quarters.
All right, so I'm going to move into the living quarters of where people have said that there's an evil man. I'm leaving to go and try and get the lights turned down and go to the toilet. So I'm going to leave you in this room. I heard that there was an evil spirit in this room who hates the lady that killed its child. Could you speak to us and show us that you're in this room? Could you speak to the camera, please? And show us that you are here. You have devices on the side. Come and talk to us. Are you a child? Oh my god, this is so annoying. No! There's noises happening right now with the aeroplanes drowning it all out. Oh, there's, there's like tapping. That is the saddest thing I've, I've ever experienced. Hello? That was like crackling, tapping, you know, like the sound of a fire, like a fireplace. That was happening then. But the aeroplane went over, you'd have drained all that out. Prisoner. What I'm going to do, I do have a device here. If you want to tell me your name, your age, or anything, you're more than welcome. But I was in this room a few moments ago. Could you make that noise again? Oh! <laughs> 28! Twenty eight. Now, I did just ask if you wanted to tell me its age. Are you twenty eight years old, spirit? Am I alone up here? Give me a sign. If you can see me. If you can hear me. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Okay, you've got my attention. What was that? Who was that? Could you do that again? It was like, um, 
Like a scraping sound, I suppose. It happened right next to me. That was incredible. We're gonna go into the dark for a sec. I hope that you spoke to the ghost tube. I hope that you did something to the K2. How do you feel? Ooh, well, in all honesty, I feel quite good. I feel amazing. I feel amazing that I've been given the opportunity to come into this location. I feel amazing that we're here. We're live. We're alive, sorry, not not um, alive, but we're, I'm happy that we are alive. So, while I've been away, and I've not seen what's been uh, spoken about on the uh, on the app, we've had prisoner, prisoner, and week while I've been away. So he's asking me how I feel, and. Stay. Can you hear that? I think it was the door, maybe. Maybe the wind. Could be the wind. I hope it's the bloody wind. Yeah, that's got to be the wind. If you can see me, could you knock, please? Hello? Doors open. Slamming the, uh, slamming the door. It's, it's just, I thought she shut this door behind her. It's really loud. It is when you're in here, because I was standing in that room and I heard a doo. Yeah. I was like, what the hell's that? Okay, so it's just the wind blowing it. Yeah, it's the wind blowing the door, so. So we can debunk the banging as the door just being left open. Um, what's scary though? say scary now I've been told we can sit on the furniture so in true fashion I'm gonna sit down oh jeez I just sunk into the seat I just want to ask you a few questions about your time here at Tatton Hall now, can you answer some questions for me I'm sitting in your seat and in all honesty I don't think you should be mad for this long at your sister the loud bang hopefully we stay Jace? What the hell was that? It was banging. A loud bang. Jace? I don't think you should be mad at your sister this long. I understand something tragic happened. I understand that it was an unfortunate event. But you've got to let stuff go sometimes. Holding anger for 500 years must be stressful.
Hello, spirit. Melrim's going off, look. Hello? I don't know what to ask. Um, are you the spirit that's been playing with me? Oh, I don't know if that's yes or no. Okay. Are you trying to scare me out of the building? I'm just going to walk past you right now. Man, this is kicking off. Could you, could you make that go off again, please? Now I can tell you right now, there was no plane going over. I mean, there's a plane going over right now, but when that was triggering, Nothing. Logically, I suppose there's an air tower around here. A lot of devices, a lot of radio signals. Could that be malfunctioning that? It's a possibility. But I heard banging. I heard banging coming from this way. There's no one there and I heard some kind of scraping noise right in front of me. Again, nothing there. So now I'm thinking, am I talking to something intelligent? Or is just weird noises happening all around and I'm just making out that it's a ghost? Either way, it's fascinating. Thank you so much. All these amazing places that we come. all these hours that we spend. Trying to get you guys to talk to us. Nine times out of 10, nothing happens. That's the reality of what we do. But there's that 1%. Can you be that 1% for us today? Can you be that spirit, that guardian, that's willing to show us that you're here to stand up and be counted and not be scared. Johnny. Some interesting things happen now. Rempod going nuts. I had some stuff down here. Really? Yeah, some loud bangs. Hold. I asked for, like, for a, a name or an age, and he said 28. I've got Johnny. Did I? And John was one of the names. I've had some good stuff up there, it was like a scraping sound as well. It was standing right next to me. Spirit or persons that live at Tatton Park, anybody that can hear me, hear the sound of my voice, Come towards it as we are going upstairs. Me and Stephen are going in the hallway to find out who is upstairs in this great hall. If you wish to talk to us, we have devices up there for you. So you can interact with us and tell us who you are. If John is here, or John, or Jonathan, come upstairs. If the 28 year old person or persons of Tatton Park can hear us coming to this great hall as I'm making my way up the stairs. Fuck you now. <laughs> I just went over two things. I can't even come to you because the steps no, are That's all right, I've got, I've got all these over. Remember, I've got 20-20 vision. 
in the dark. Yeah, 2020 vision. It's, it means you can see in all aspects, <laughs> just on the floor. <laughs> It has happened. It wouldn't be a bit, I've just nearly fell over two benches. Just got to see it. <laughs> Smashed up my shins. Oh, brilliant. All right. I mean, he has got torches. Yeah, I'm in the back. I mean, have, you, have you seen what I do? I just yeah. have a nice little one here clipped on red so I can see where I'm going. Well, Griff, I believe in that. Is there any of those people, persons, spirits here today with us? They wish to talk to us at all. We have a device on the windowsill. It's a word bank that you can actually talk into and tell us some things. I want to stay. So we've got I want to stay again, as I was explaining how it worked. So Stephen has said that the Melrem has been going off today. So could you show me, please? Go towards the green light in the centre of the hallway. It's on the floor. If there's any children here that wish to play with it, you can. You can play with all the devices. Show us how playful you are. So the room that I'm standing in right now, it's known for a spirit of a male that likes to poke his head around the corner of the bed. I say this all the time, we have never ever seen an apparition or something that we can 100% say is a ghost. We have never seen that. And we want to experience that and show it to the world. We've had some amazing things happen already tonight. Well, it, it is amazing, but to some people it'd be like it's nothing, but that's kind of stuff that we get all the while. It's like little knocks and bangs. And, yeah. And hopefully one time that a spirit will explain why. And that's what we're, we're, we're pretty much aiming for. But it's right here. Am I pointing in the right direction? It's there somewhere, right there. How do you feel, Stephen? It asked me how I felt earlier. Um, a bit anxious because of the things that have we've experienced already tonight. I feel like you know what? Maybe tonight is the night where we're going to get the Holy Grail. But is there any members from the Edgerton family here with us now? Oh. It's like a walk-in in your room. Yeah, it? right behind me. Yeah, yeah. Just got a plane going over, guys. I mean, it's probably travelling at about 280. Be gone in a sec. I don't know if the camera would pick. Some. Jace, it's just happened again. This time it sounded like a um, like the handrail. Is someone coming up the stairs? It said some, Stephen. Oh, I've gone absolutely ice cold. So, Edgerton, is that the trigger name? Is that something that gets you going? Are one of you here with us now? Show us your face, or show us that you are here by doing something. Slam a door. Walk behind Stephen. Come up those stairs. Me and Stephen have never seen an apparition, which is when you show yourself to us. Like Stephen said earlier, we have cameras that will be able to capture you and undoubtedly show the world that you are here. Are you willing to do that for us today? Are you willing to show us that you are here? Walk closer towards us. Move towards the sound of our voices. Move towards this hallway. Show us your power. Stephen. 
So guys, we're in the witch's barn. Um, I've been informed that that's what it's called. A uh, few people have hanged from the rafters here, we've been told. Uh, maybe, you know, it's just information that's been said. Yeah, we moved into the barn because we've actually got this whole place to ourselves. We do. And it's a lovely, it's a, it's, it's re acoustically sound, isn't it? Yeah. So there's not really anything that can seep in. So hopefully we can try and find out if someone did die in this barn. People We've have reported that they've actually been touched um, here tonight. Yeah. Um, a few of the guests said they've been touched. So let's get it started. Go on, Stu. Okay. So spirit of the barn. My name is Stephen. I'm here with Griff. We've spent a lot of time over in the main house. And we've had a lot of fun in there. We've caught some very interesting pieces of activity, possibly. And we've heard that this section is just as haunted. There's tales of witches that have been hung. We're here in the dark, just me and Jace. I know that might have just confused you, I've just called him Griff. It's the, it's the same, Jace, Griff, whatever. <laughs> Can you see us right now? Bed. Bed? Did it say bed or Ben? I don't know. Bed? She's on about me going to sleep. <laughs> it uh, is past their bed. Fair play. Where's my phone stay? I don't know. There are a lot of beds over in the other section. Oh, they ain't bothered. Where's my wallet? <laughs> I don't know where your personal possessions are. Honestly, I feel like I've been robbed. We're always being robbed. What is the relevance to the word bed inside this barn? There's no bed in sight. There's a lot of beds over it in the main hall. I think that actually that's where they are doing some of the experiments right now. You don't want to be over there. You want to be here with us in the barn. Could you give us some kind of sign that you're here with us? Whoa! What? Jace, I don't know. <laughs> what was he? It's it sounded like something like scurrying across the floor. You know, like, like shuffling. Are you okay with us? Whoa! Ma. Jace, I don't know. <laughs> Are you okay with us? Whoa! Jace, I don't know. <laughs> like a mouse. You know, it's... you'll have to look back to see if I had you there. I know I don't have your feet in shot. So I wouldn't have got anything like that. Because there's a lot of, I mean, this is just a breeding ground. Yeah, this is where mice go to roam. I mean, this is, I mean, we're in a barn past midnight and there's bundles of hay and <laughs> everything. <laughs> Isn't that? Yeah, there is. So I think that was a mouse running around, or I've just scared myself. Could you do it again, please? If that was a spirit. Make that noise again. I can hear tapping all over, but that's just the rain, isn't it? Could be, yeah. I haven't seen any mice. I've been looking dead at the ground for a while. And uh, obviously looking at you. I mean, I could have just scared myself with, you know, just my, hay. Like my shoes like on the hay. Yeah. It's an easy possibility. Spirit? I mean, we can't see anything in here. I didn't even know I was walking on hay. Spirit, could you talk to us? I 
Spirits, it's been a pleasure trying to talk to you tonight. If you have made any contact with us, we really, really appreciate it. It goes a long way, especially when we're here. So I'd like to say goodbye. And if you could say goodbye to us, I'd appreciate that. I hope that you feel we've been respectful enough to you. And we've gave you enough time to talk. And if not, we'll be back again. And we want to say thank you to everyone who keeps watching and supporting our videos and making this happen. Massive thank you to Haunted Happenings for letting us join yet again. Obviously, if you're into ghost hunting and you want to come to some of these amazing locations, go and check out Haunted Happenings. Always amazing to work with them. We've caught some amazing things. We're definitely going to be returning back. And yeah, I think on that one, we're just going to pass it over to Griff on his final words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I've done the classic zooming on Griff's face. <laughs> so. <laughs> I want you to go. Yay! She actually wants us to go, guys. Um, and you probably want us to go after listening to us all day. Yeah, just if you want to support us, support us. If you don't, don't, don't really matter. It is what it is. Cheers, guys. Peace.